I said, now that you're in your groups, I would like you to pretend that you are your number one competitor. And putting that hat on, now I'm gonna give you 30 minutes, and I want you to kill your company. I want you to put yourself out of business. And it was like I had lit the room on fire. They were so excited to have an out of company experience, to be able to attack their company in a non-political way, to get their war mentality on, to look at what the weaknesses were without thinking about protecting themselves. Because how you usually do it is you do strategic planning. And that's very different than killing your company. Right? Strategic planning is when this is what you do. Every year, you look for last year's PowerPoint. You open it up, and the first thing you do is you change the date. That's what you do. OK. <laughs> right? That's what you do. And then you go through all these other slides. Are flowery and sound good? And then you get to the SWAT. And by the way, I like SWATs, but I think they're way overused because they're the biggest slide and the thing everyone banks on. So this, plus the financials, of, of course. But strategically, a SWAT is this thing where you go through and you say, well, we have a lot of, a lot of strengths, of course. Weaknesses, there's a few. Well, maybe they're not weaknesses. Maybe they're opportunities, in fact. And, and it's like this menagerie that we go through. Oh my god. I think the best thing you can do is to kill first. And so this exercise that we did with this company was they killed their company. They came up with all these things that were weaknesses. And then we figured out how to turn them back on their real competitors. And then we killed rules. We killed processes. We killed all kinds of things. And it was very freeing because it created the space for more. We don't give ourselves permission to get rid of.